It's about them time. Hey guys, welcome to another angle. And as you can see, I'm in a good mood. And I'm in this mood because I love this conversation. This conversation, we they talk and but we still know they talk and rich. If I've ever been in the first video, if you raise your hands up. They, eh, the hands are numerous. Many, many, many hands up. <laughs> but yeah, just joking, guys. Um, yesterday, we're talking about friends with benefits. And as per usual, I've got four amazing guests with me in the studio to talk about this conversation. I know a lot of young people have either been in a friend with benefit or are in a friend with benefit or thinking of being in a friend with benefit. So this conversation is definitely for you. We've got four amazing guests with us in the studio to talk about friends with benefit. We have Chiamaka. Um, my name is Chiamaka. Um, I do corporate communications. We have Chidima. Hi, I'm Chidima. I'm a content writer, a digital marketer, a brand strategist. We have Afeye. My name is Afeye, Afeye Momo. Um, I work as a digital comms manager. And we have Ella. I'm Ella Spiffy. I am a fashion enthusiast. So kick back, relax, and let's get into it after this short break. We'll be right back. get into it but before we do before we do as usual I have to bring you know social media post that you know let us see that friends with benefit may be healthy unhealthy might not really be a thing or might be something that you know we young people we just keep generating things just to you know put ourselves in a, in a zone that is comfortable for us basically so here are a couple of those posts of these posts that we just saw let's get to our guest guys what do you think about friend benefit what is your definition of a friend with benefit situation friends with benefit normally should be a situation where two people who are originally friends introduce the concept of sex into the relationship I would say friends with benefits is you know someone that maybe you got to know I, I mean you got to have a, a standing relationship with and then um, sex ended up being added into it. Two friends that have a benefit. The benefit in this point is sex. In a layman term, it's just something to relax and just be free with, honestly. That's friends with benefit for me. In, in the context, friends with benefits, what benefits is sex? In all honesty, I feel like friends with benefit differs from casual hookup because a lot of people don't know that. People think that you being casually hooking up with somebody means that they're your friend, but most times actually, they are not. I totally agree with Chiamaka where she says that if you are in a friend with benefit, the person actually has to be your friend. A friend with a benefit relationship is definitely different from casual sex. Casual sex, you guys have, you know, you guys don't owe each other friendship. But I think these days it's all just like mixed into each other. So everything is just a friendly benefit relationship. But yeah, whatever. Um, have you ever been in a friend with benefits situation and what was your experience like? Oh yeah, friends with benefits, I have. No, I have not been in a friends with benefits relationship because I am particularly careful. I think I was in a friends with benefits situation but then um, he ended up, I mean I guess, I hope I can say this, but um, he ended up sexually assaulting me. It was, it was, it was crazy because at some point we couldn't even define what we was because we knew that uh, we definitely like wanted something but like we didn't want to officially tag it as a relationship and all that. I've been in a lot though, not one, not two. They were playing. I know they do relationship. is <laughs> the confusing part of life. But at the same time, he wanted something really serious but I didn't at that point because I was very, very uh, paranoid at some point so uh, yeah it was just there I won't lie it was there for a minute for like a year or less 
we became very close to dates. Um, she's not in the country anymore, but in the space where she was, it was practically like we were best friends and we we're having great sex, just not. I have been in casual relationships. That is in a situation where I previously didn't know them. I met them and I know I want to have something sexual to do with this person. So that was just like basically a casual sex relationship, but I've never been in a friend's benefit, majorly because I'm probably paranoid. People will be like, oh, okay, my friend's benefit told me about a hard thing that went on, a bad thing that happened in their life. Why would they tell me about that? That's silly. We're only here for sex. That means that person is not your friend. I've had a couple of wanting to lead to relationships, but it hasn't matured enough. I've had a situation um, of a friend who was not one, and it was a very, it was messy. She was basically giving this guy everything. She was working for the guy. She was advising the guy. She was having sex with the guy. Do you get? And she ended up being hurt in the process. I kept telling her like, no. Very interesting. I think all our guests have experienced a FWB relationship or situationship before, aside Chidima. Very sweet girl. Yeah. Anyways, have I ever been in a friend of an every relationship or situationship? That question, ask God. That answer is between me and God, not me and the camera. But I have experienced it not personally from other people, of course. I've experienced some friends' benefits go good and mostly go south, to be very honest. Most of the friends' benefit situations I've seen have mostly gone south. Very, very few actually go well. But yeah, that aside, do you think one gender benefits more in a friend benefits relationship than the other? And if they do, who do you think benefits more? I do not think that. I don't I don't think one gender um, I don't think one gender actually gets more, but if I'm to pick, do I have to pick females? I think casual sex is more accepted societally for ma for men. Um, you know, men are allowed to have as many partners as they want, and you know, okay, I'm not ready for a relationship yet. Meanwhile, it's like for women, everybody's like, oh, when you're 30, you've expired, which is not true. Definitely, I think in this society, males, both parties should talk about it. If it's the same sex, different sex, I don't even want to know which sex, but. <laughs> Whatever, I feel we should actually talk about it, yeah, because one thing can get you attracted. Okay, for a man, you know, it's always mostly the physical attraction, you know, if you have ass, boobs and all that shit, they are normally attracted to just that, right? I've realized that most girls are not comfortable enough expressing the fact that I'm not enjoying this, so let's put an end to it. So they find themselves in a situation where they carry on to an extent where is like in the dynamic, the man is enjoying it better and then you want to bring in the issue of purity culture that comes in with the society the woman might be an ass in character no offense you get me so that kind of thing they cannot manage at some point but they know that the only thing that is keeping them is the sexual fantasies that they are trying to you know bring to life and whatnot so i actually feel if you really want to be in a friends with benefits situation, it's cool, you know, but I feel you should always communicate about it. Societally, it affects females more because according to them, it seems like with each sex you have is diminishing your value, which is not right. But then, for looking at it from the male's angle, it's looking like a conquest. So in this situation, it's looking like men are benefiting more from friends with benefits. We do the spending, we all do the enjoyment. See, eh, you guys, don't come for me. I only beseech you that do not come for me. Let me just pick my mind. I'm more scared because I know they'll kill me. But in my own observation, urination, and sinination, I do believe that the women enjoy more in a friend benefit relationship. Don't come for me. Women enjoy good sex, if it's good, and it comes with other additional benefits, mostly material. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. You guys get the good, you know, sex, but not necessarily the material form. But there are some women that will say they want to go and wash, they want to go and clean. Hello, ma, he's not your boyfriend or your life partner. He's just genitals people are exchanging. Give yourselves. But. I'm not going to say I don't agree with the girls too, to be very honest. 
in our society, men can come and have like three, four, five friends benefit and it's not a problem. But our society makes it seem like, oh, for a babe to have that, the more, the more people you have sex with, the less your, um, your, your value is. A lot of women attach their value to their vaginas, which is not where it should be, basically. And that is because of societal um, pressure and all of that. Well, yeah, I don't know anything. To know. I'm just saying what my guest said. So, don't come for me. Real talk, guys. Let's be honest. Between you and me, do you think um, a friend benefit is possible where nobody catches feeling? Do you think it's possible for one partner to not catch feeling in a friend benefit situation? Doctrine. I would say it's possible. It depends. If the um, if the rules are clearly stated and followed, then yes, it's possible. It's very possible. Yeah, very. I've actually been in that. Nobody caught feelings. Yeah, it was a mutual thing. We started mutually, we ended mutually. One person always ends up catching feelings and usually is the, um, the how would I say, the more anxious partner or the partner who is like much more willing to give. They always end up in the situation where they catch feelings because they've really invested a lot. I think it's possible. So the one thing with friends with benefit as far as I'm concerned is communication. As long as you can have a discussion, a logical conclusion. If the person is your friend and is your friend to the point where you feel like you can talk about stuff as trivial as having sex, I feel you should be able to communicate with the person to the point of even if you do catch feelings, you all can solve it up at that point. So yeah, it's possible but nothing communication can also. I would say it's possible, but then it's also it's also some, a thing that a lot of people do is where they want one partner to catch feelings, right? So they'll start doing things to make the other person, you know, become emotionally connected to them. And then the moment where the person is not like, oh, okay, I, I like you, they'll not be like, hey, what? We're just here for sex, please. So, truth is, in my experience, not my personal experience, so as in my experience from other people's experience, it seems like one person usually does catch feelings. I, I have rarely ever seen friends benefit situation where one person does not catch feelings, and that mostly always leads to the end of the relationship. Ella is lucky, Sha. Sha and a person did come to a conclusion to end the friendly benefit side to their relationship, be the beneficial part of their friendship, which is great. But I also agree with Faye that if you are guys and you're friends, if feelings are beginning to creep in, you'll be friends enough to communicate those feelings and you know what to do about it. But you see what Chiamaka said, hmm, that there are people who will set you up to actually have feelings for them, eh? It's very true. I promise you, some people are evil like that. They'll tell you, oh, let's get to a friend's benefit situation ship, and they will set you up to have feelings for them. Then when you have feelings, they'll be like, it's just sex, G. Don't come out here with your feelings getting nasty and effing things up. Man, I can't say the word on TV, but you know what I want to say. So, even though I already know the answer to this from their reply so far, relationship or friendly benefit situation? I fair speak. Friendly benefit? No. Relationship. I'm so sorry. Relationship. Relationship, I will not lie. Situationship is a no for me. I don't do those. Like, I used to do them and I, when I was younger and I realized that I wasted a bunch of time. I misled myself in so many ways. Boundaries were always crossed because I'm so sorry, nobody there's no define anything. So there's gonna be boundaries crossed. You're going to become resentful of the person. Friends the benefit, yeah. At some point, like I said, paranoia will enter. Relationship equals stress. Lagos is stressful enough for me right now. So I will as well love to find someone that is in my headspace and not trying to give me more stress at the moment. I feel that relationship is it's 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 a, it's an important thing. You know, it's, it's quite important and it's respectable for both parties. That's why it's not something you just jump into if you're not actually ready for it. See, anything we concern relationship, just can't affair at all. It's not interested, it's not involved, it's not consigned. It just wants to be a friend who benefit as a bear. That's the only thing that interests me. 
but you know what I mean. <laughs> but yes, guys, talk to me. What are some guidelines? What are some of your guidelines to a successful friend with benefit situation, relationship, whatever? Give us. Just be wicked. Take wickedness pills every day. Communication. Have an alternative. Humility. Discuss boundaries always. Integrity. Don't care. And grace. Try to keep your relationship to the point where you're not going to scatter your friendship when the sex in. If that nigga is heavy stupid, move out and go and find a better guy. You know you are there for the sex and if it gets to a point where you're not enjoying it, always feel free to cut it out. Always talk about what you're comfortable with, what you're not comfortable with. Don't sit your ass down on one guy, man. That's why it's called friends with benefit. That benefit thing there. Just know the point at which it doesn't pay you, where it doesn't benefit you, know when to end it. If the person starts seeing someone and you realize that you don't like it, that probably means that you start ha having like feelings. So talk about it. Don't make a fool out of yourself. So always have a plan B. And that's besides that, uh, I feel don't take it too far. Very important things to take home. Stay wicked. That's all. Have an alternative and do enter a relationship. If that's a life. Enter a relationship if that's what your heart goes for. But yeah, stay wicked. Even when you're in a relationship, stay wicked. Dear girls, men love wicked women. They love when you're wicked to them. Don't show them pepe. They will stay with you. So stay what? Stay wicked. Well, in conclusion, guys, what is your angle on friends and benefits versus relationships? Hi, I'm Ella, and my angle on friends with benefit is fun. Nothing too deep, but don't make the person feel like a prisoner in your arms. Hi guys, my name is Afe. I think it's a very, very concise way. You could have time for yourself, you could have time to better you and your friends, and still have great sex without the extra things that come involved with the relationship. I am Chidema, and my angle with friends with benefit is, like I said, be wicked. Hi, my name is Chiamaka and my angle of friends with benefits is um, don't do that. I'm not saying be like me, but hey, friends with benefits all day. Very, very interesting conversation. I know that a lot of us young folks have either been in a friend with benefit situation or um, are in a friend with benefit situation or are planning to be one. So I hope you found this very, very interesting and entertaining. And if you haven't you know, started a friend with benefit situation, I hope you know what to look out for, what to do, what not to do. But I think my takeaway take from this is communication. In whatever form of relationship you want to have with anybody, it is important that you communicate your feelings for them. And I think in every relationship, friendship is very important. I said you were just, um, I can't use the word on TV, so I'll just say, except you're just bed buddies. That's my, what I'll say my own guidelines are to a successful friend with benefit. Not like I do it too, because I don't do it. I don't do it. I don't do such me. Friend benefits, you know? I don't do it. My heart can't take it. My heart can't take it. But yes, guys. This has been a great show. This has been another episode of Another Angle. Do follow us on Instagram at This Is Pop Central. And of course, follow me, your baby girl, your convener at DTFA underscore Hassan. Of course, as usual, I'll be having more conversations for you. So stay tuned and stay glued to Another Angle and Pop Central TV. I will be seeing you next week. But till then, stay wicked. <laughs> <laughs>